A Pittsburgh native is suing PetSmart and two of its former employees. She claims that her dog was strangled to death while having its nails trimmed at the company's store in East Liberty. Jessica Gway spoke with her about why she filed the suit. Even nearly two years later, AJ Ross is still traumatized about what happened to her dog, Kobe, when she brought him to this PetSmart to get his nails trimmed. She hopes this lawsuit leads to accountability and helps pet owners keep their best friends safe. This is Kobe, a toy poodle who was AJ Ross's companion for 12 years. Kobe was family to her. He'd been through everything with me, through all the highs and lows of my life. Ross just filed a lawsuit against PetSmart and two former employees, claiming they used restraints on her dog that led to a strangulation death. But the civil case is just, again, to um, bring accountability to this situation, um, justice, if there, there can be any slim measure of that, but nothing's going to bring Kobe back. Ross grew up in Pittsburgh and is an employee of Paramount, the parent company of KDKA. She shared this video surveillance with us, which is too graphic to show in its entirety. You can see Kobe inside the PetSmart in Pittsburgh's East Liberty neighborhood on November 17, 2020. According to the lawsuit, the video shows Kobe having two tethers placed around his neck, one suspended from a bar above his head and one traveling beneath his neck. The lawsuit also states that defendants Elizabeth Doty and Julie Miller began to trim Kobe's nails and eventually turn all four of his legs to the side suspending him over the surface of the table, in effect, hanging Kobe by the neck while they trimmed his nails. I hope that PetSmart overhauls their hiring and training practices. It's very evident in this surveillance video that those two groomers um, seemingly had no idea what they were doing and didn't care that my dog was suffering. The lawsuit says PetSmart failed to take necessary measures to eliminate or minimize such injury and harm to pets. The suit makes claims of negligence, negligent hiring, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and fraud, among other things. Ross doesn't want other pet owners to lose their best friend like she did. I can't let his death be in vain, and um, I really want people to be aware. And I had gone to a private groomer years before, and um, just, you know, really vet whomever is taking care of your, your pets, just like you would anybody that does a service to you. In a statement to KDKA, PetSmart said they're heartbroken by the loss of Kobe and after an internal investigation, those involved are no longer employed by the company. In addition to this civil suit, the former employees are facing criminal charges, including two counts of animal cruelty and two counts of animal neglect. Their next court appearance will be in October. In East Liberty, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.